I am up here because of a student that requested for a review on equilibrium of forces. If you are watching this channel for the first time, do well to subscribe to this channel because you have a lot to gain. As you know that the jam exam is tomorrow and there is a topic you need to learn before you write that exam, just drop it in the comment section with the day you are going to write the exam. So I'll make sure I will send the video to you to be able to understand and score 90 and above. With no further ado, let's get right into the video. With the diagram on the board, the question says, what is the value of T in the figure above? We have the following options. Option A, 10.0 Newton. Option B, 11.8 Newton. Option C, 20.0 Newton. Option D, 40.0 Newton. So before we could solve this, the first thing that will come to your mind is this, the principle of triangle of forces. If these forces are in equilibrium, they must be represented in magnitude and direction by the angle of a triangle taken in order. That means you are going to follow the direction of these forces to form a triangle. Do you understand? And once that's we done, we are going to resolve it to find the unknown, which is the tension that we are looking for. So let's go. Now look at it. So we have this. This, this force, 20 Newton, is acting down. I have 20 Newton, right? Now look at this tension, T. It's going this way, right? So I will go this way. Remember, I must follow the way the diagram is to avoid making mistake. Now, this tension T has an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. But from my diagram, I do not have horizontal. I have vertical. So what I'm going to do is to say 90 minus this angle to have this one here, which is going to give me what? 60, okay? So that's what I'm going to have here, which is what? 60 degrees. I hope that is clear. Now, coming up to this tension, from the same point, it is going this way. So from the same point, let me take it up. It's going to join to this one. That is tension, right? The same thing is applicable here. Now, because the angle in the horizontal is 30, here will be what? 60. What we need is the vertical angle and not the horizontal angle from this our diagram, okay? We have that this is equal to what? 60 what? Degrees. So we need to get this angle here, okay? The sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. We have 60 plus 60 plus x is equal to 180 degrees, right? That means x plus 120 is equal to 180. x is equal to what? 60 degrees. So if here is 60 degrees, then the next thing we are going to do is to use sine rule, okay? And sine rule states that what? 20 over sine what? 60. This over sine facing this, right? This is the side of the triangle. The angle facing this side is what? 60. So that is why I said 20 over sine 60 is equal to T over sine what? T over sine 60 is equal to T over sine 60. Okay? Now, since the tension is the same, we are going to look at what we have. If we say 20 over sine 60 is equal to T over sine 60. Now look at, this cancels this, right? Automatically, my T is equal to 20 Newton. Is that clear? It's as simple as that. So the correct option to this question is option C. We are going to use this diagram to answer the question, okay? Find the tension in the diagram below. If the system is in equilibrium, we have G to be 10 meters per second square. And we have the following options. Option A, 200 over root 3 Newton. Option B, 100 over root 3 Newton. Option C, 300 over root 3 Newton. Option D, 100 Newton. Now, for us to resolve this, the first thing that will come to your mind is this. Look at how the direction is going. Look at this 10 kilograms. It's already acting what? Down. Even though the arrow is not there because we know that weight is acting down. Okay? And weight is equal to what? Mg. Now they give us mass. We need, we need to get the force by saying that this is 10 and g is constant, which is what? 10. What do we have? We have 100 newtons. So here is what? 100 newton. Okay? Now the first step you are going to do is to resolve this to form a triangle. That is the first step. Now following the direction in which the arrow is going. Now look at this arrow. It is acting what? Down. Is that clear? It is acting down. Now... This one is going to act down. We have this. And the weight is what? 100 what? Newton. Is that clear? Now look at this force, T2. It is going this direction. 
So from the same point, I will now go this direction. I will call it what? My T2. Do you understand? Now this T2 make an angle of 30 degrees with the what? Vertical. So the angle will be here. 30 degrees. So mind you, if the question has an angle with the horizontal, you have to make sure the angle is in the horizontal. Okay, so look at my T1. My T1 is acting in the horizontal direction. So from here, I'll have what? My T1. This is my T1, right? But T1 makes an angle with the 100 Newton at right angle. So here will be 90. Is that clear? Now, this is the first step. I've already resolved this now. So the next thing I'm going to do, sorry, we're actually looking for tension T1, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is to find the tension T1, which is what you're looking for, okay? So I'm going to use the sine root formula to solve. Now, if here is 90 degrees, now the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180. So if here is 90 degrees, here is what? 30, right? So it's going to give us 120. So it's left with what? 60. So that means here becomes 60 degrees. Do we understand? Now using sine root, which says that what? T1 over what? Sine what? 30, right? Or we can start with the one that has the complete value. Which the angle facing this 100 is what? 60. So I will say this is 100 over sine 60, right? Which is equals to T1 over T1 over sine 30, which is also equals to T2 over sine T2 over sine 90. Is that clear? Now look at it. What you're looking for is T1. So I'm going to equate these two to get the unknown, right? By saying that 100 over sine 60 is equals to T1 over sine 30, right? So I'm going to do cross multiply, okay? By saying that what? T1 is equal to what? 100 multiplied by sine 30 is 0 0.5, okay? Divided by sine 60 is root 3 over 2. That is root 3 over what? 2, right? Now, by the time you work it out, you have what? 50 divided by root 3 over 2, which will give rise to 100 over root 3 Newton. Now, this is how to get the T1 from the question. If you are asked to get the tension 2, you can still equate this tension 2 to this one that is complete, okay? Then you find the unknown. So, from what we've got so far, the correct option to this question is option B. A mirror of weight, 75 Newton, is hung by cord from a hook on the wall. If the cord makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal, what is the tension of the cord, right? We have the following options. Option A, 150 Newton. Option B, 100 Newton. Option C, 1,500 Newton. Option D, 250 Newton. We are going to explain this question with a diagram. It says that a mirror of weight, 75 Newton, is hung by a cord from, from a hook on a wall. So this is what? The wall, right? Now, this is the mirror. Okay? Now, if the cord makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal, see the horizontal here. Now, this makes an angle with what? Of 30 degrees. The angle is 30 degrees with the horizontal. And the weight of this mirror is acting down, which is 75 Newton. And the question is, we should calculate the tension of the cord. The tension of the cord is acting what? Up. From this question, what you are going to do to get the tension is you are going to use upward vertical forces equals to downward vertical forces. Okay? That is upward vertical force equals to downward vertical what? force right now what is the upward vertical force this tension is acting up right but what you are going to do you are going to resolve it to the what to the vertical component and the vertical components of this vector we should resolve it will be what t sine what theta now it is equal to the downward force which is what 75 now let's simply work it out t multiplied by 
sine theta is what? 0 0.5 is equal to 75. We now divide both sides by 0 0.5. 0 0.5, right? Now, if this cancels this, my tension is equal to 75 over 0 0.5. 150 Newton. So the correct option to this question is option A. If this video was able to help someone out there, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to get notified each time I post videos. And lastly, do not forget to share until you get to the last student that is writing this forthcoming jam 2025. I will see you next time in the next one. Bye for now.